It's been almost four months now since we last saw CM Punk in a WWE ring at the 2014 Royal Rumble. And in that time, there's always been these different rumors that have popped up about, oh, it's a work, or he's going to be back here, or he's going to be back at the Raw in Chicago before WrestleMania, or he's going to come back at WrestleMania 30, he's going to come back here, and he's going to come back there. And look, I've said before in a couple of different videos that I didn't fully agree with CM Punk on this. I understand the perspective to a degree. I respect it to a degree. Do I feel that he handled business like a businessman and as a professional? No, I don't. But at the end of the day, CM Punk made what CM Punk felt was the best decision for Philip Brooks and his quality of life, both short term and into the future. And I don't know if CM Punk's ever going to come back to the WWE. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. But at some point in time, can we leave the guy alone? At some point in time, can we stop begging for him to come back? Can we stop coming up with all this bullshit? Can we stop floating all these stupid rumors? Can we stop fantasizing about him coming back to the WWE? Can we leave the guy alone? He's been gone almost four months now. You know, clearly this wasn't just some work. I hope everybody understands that now. This was shoot. This was real. He was at a Cubs game recently singing the seventh inning stretch, and he revealed that he was getting married, it sounds like, next month to A.J. Lee. Congratulations, CM Punk. I'm happy for you. After all the wrestling girls you ran through over the years, apparently you found Miss Wright. And again, congratulations. I'm happy for you. And if CM Punk decides that he wants to enjoy his life and relax and, you know, not have to work the road schedule of WWE. If he never wants to work again as a professional wrestler, and he wants to get a pot belly, he wants to pork AJ Lee every day, put a couple of babies inside of her, and enjoy the rest of his life, then my hat's off to him. Because ultimately, he's doing what he feels is best for him. And at the end of the day, make no mistake about it, this is a selfish world. You take care of me, myself, and I first and foremost. And if you think it's about anything other than that, then you are living in a very naive place, an ideal kind of utopian place that maybe I would like to see someday, but that's not the reality here on planet Earth. You know, CM Punk is doing what CM Punk feels is best for him. And for so many of you out there, I understand you love this guy. You respected him tremendously. You were huge fans of his. Maybe he was your favorite guy. Maybe in a time where it's very tough, frankly, to be a wrestling fan. There's not a lot of good things, in my opinion, going on. It's very tough to be a wrestling fan. Maybe CM Punk was one of those last glimmers of hope for you for what wrestling could be and what wrestling can represent to you and why you love professional wrestling. I understand it. I get it. And there's always a bit of a nostalgic feeling there when you look back at guys that have come before and you're like, man, those are the good old days. I remember this and I remember that. But at some point in time, if CM Punk is willing to get away from it, if CM Punk walks away, why continue to obsess over the guy? Why continue to talk about the guy all the time? Why continue to chatter about, oh, wait, he could come back here, he could come back there. Let it go. Let the guy have some damn peace. Now, I disagree with CM Punk to the extent that, you know, he's always bitched about the fact that he gets recognized everywhere, he can't have privacy, he can't have peace. And I get that to a degree. I think sometimes our obsession with celebrities in this society is borderline psycho and full-on psycho and ridiculous and all of this. But you also know going into it, if you're a CM Punk and you're working your way up the independent circuit, you're working in part to get to the big show, to get to the WWE, to become a big star, to make as much money as you possibly can. You can't sit there and expect to get all of that without some of the other crap that goes along with it. But at the same point in time, you know, can people just give him some space? Respect the man's privacy a little bit? At the end of the day, yeah, he was a WWE superstar, one of the biggest names in the business for a few years. Can, can he enjoy his life? Can we leave him be? Can we leave him alone? You know, maybe if people weren't harping on him all the time and bothering him all the time in public and doing all this stupid crap that he used to talk about, maybe he wouldn't have gotten so worn down with the wrestling business and so frustrated with the wrestling business. 
It's just a thought. You know, and I, I'm just getting to the point now where I'm getting tired of hearing about this crap. It has been almost four months now. People, let it fucking go, please. It does me a favor. It does everybody a favor. And most importantly of all, it does you yourself a favor. If CM Punk ever decides he wants to come back to the WWE, then yay, terrific. A top guy comes back into the fold refreshed and ready to go with a fresh perspective and a fresh character because you hadn't seen him in a while. It's a win-win all the way around. But if he doesn't come back, you know, why sit there and continue to fantasize about it? Why sit there and continue to obsess over it? Again, I understand a lot of you love this guy, and you worship the ground that he walked on from a wrestling standpoint, but gee, bitty Christmas, if it wasn't that important to him, then at the end of the day, maybe it shouldn't be that important to you. Instead of sitting there and still almost four months later chanting for a guy who, again, I emphasize, chose to leave on his own, chant for other guys. Find maybe new guys to root for and watch, or maybe find something else to do with your time. Just floating that out there. Can we leave CM Punk alone? Can we stop talking about him? And yes, I know I'm doing a video about it, so technically I'm talking about it too. But it's just something that's frustrating for me to see. It's been almost four months now! It was a shoot, not a work! The guy didn't want to be bothered with the business! He wanted to get away from it. He wanted to, God forbid, have a free some free time, have a personal life. He was tired of getting banged up and injured and working hurt all the time and always being on the road and having to do all these WWE commitments. I completely understand. I don't like what he did, but I respect some of the reasons why he did it, and I can understand it. At the end of the day, he had to do what was best for him, something that a lot of us wish we could do in our lives is do what's best for us. A lot of times we have to stick with things and we have to put up with crap that we don't really want to, but we have to because of our situations or circumstances. I'm happy for a CM Punk that he worked hard, got to a certain point to where he might never have to work again and he'll be fine financially and be able to enjoy his life with his future wife and potentially some kids. I think that's tremendous. And I think that's great. And if anything, that's something to respect and admire about him at the end of the day. And that's something that maybe someday we can all look at and say, hey, you know what? If we work that hard in our lives, maybe 10, 15, 20 years down the road, and we pay our dues and put in our diligence and do that hard work and effort consistently that is required, maybe we could be in that position where we could just walk away from it all and go sip martinis on a freaking deserted desert island or something. If CM Punk comes back, if he, he comes back. And if he doesn't, he doesn't. Can you please find something else to talk about? Can you please find somebody else to root for? Or can you please find something else to entertain yourselves and find something else maybe to watch? Let the guy alone. Let him have his peace. And maybe, just maybe, and this is just the thought, the more people left him alone now, maybe it's he would miss it a little earlier and a little quicker. And maybe he'd be a little more likely uh, to come back earlier because people weren't talking about him and obsessing over him. And they were leaving him alone and giving him a space. I don't know. It's just a thought. Leave the guy alone.